Super Drug Stores plc is a health and beauty retailer in the United Kingdom, and the second largest in the country behind Boots. The company has been a subsidiary of A.S. Watson Group since 2002, itself part of the Hong Kong conglomerate C.K. Hutchison Holdings. It trades from nearly 900 stores across the UK and Ireland with the recent intention another 100 over the next three years. Superdrug employs over 14,000 people ranging from minimum wage jobs to some of the highest paid within the industry. Superdrug is currently the UK's fastest growing health and beauty retailer nearly doubling its profit in 2014. Besides health and beauty products, the company also have pharmacies with consultation rooms in over 220 stores, and a further 19 contain nurse clinics. It maintains links with its sister companies also owned by A.S. Watson Group, Savers and the Perfume Shop. History equals Origins and Expansion equals In 1964, Superdrug was incorporated under the name of a Euro Squared leading supermarkets limited a Euro Squared by the Goldstein brothers in London, both of whom had experience working in the grocery retail industry. Later that year the business adopted the present name. The first official Superdrug store opened in Putney, London on April 26, 1966. By 1968 there was a total of three stores trading, Putney, Croydon and Streatham, also in the same year Superdrug acquired its first distribution centre, which was situated in Wimbledon. The chain grew rapidly and expanded to a chain of 40 stores by the early 1970s and in 1971, the Rite Aid Corporation, an American drug store chain, acquired 49% of the business. By 1981, there were 300 Superdrug stores in the United Kingdom and they opened their 11,148-mile square distribution centre and office complex at Beddington Lane in Croydon. This particular distribution centre closed in July 2007 and the southern distribution operation moved to Dunstable, although the head office remains in Croydon. The northern distribution operates from Pontefract. In 1983 the business was floated on London's unlisted securities market stock market. In 1987, Superdrug was sold to Woolworth Holdings for a £57 million. This allowed accelerated growth of the brand through utilization of Kingfisher's surplus high street property portfolio and substantial financial assets. That year Superdrug acquired Tip Top, a discount drug store chain which had a large presence in the north of England and Scotland, and Share Drug Stores plc, a southern-based chain. These acquisitions and a continually aggressive expansion program saw the chain grow to 600 outlets throughout the UK. Superdrug continued to grow over the next eight years increasing profitability and market share. In 1995, the company began a rebranding program which saw it leave behind its discount heritage and move up market, with a new corporate identity a euro under the banner The Real Beauty is the Price a Euro, and new larger stores in prime retail locations. This led to a marked increase in prices in order to fund a higher cost base, and left the chain vulnerable to attack from new discount chains such as Savers and Wilkinson who were rapidly expanding at the time in the supermarkets such as Tesco and Asda who were growing their presence in the high-margin non-food sector. Equals acquisition equals, facing increasing pressure from supermarkets and new discount chain Superdrug was sold to Cruadbat, a drugstore operator from continental Europe to allow Kingfisher to focus on its DIY and electrical chains. Cruadbat was subsequently sold to A.S. Watson, the retail and manufacturing business of the Hong Kong conglomerate Hutchison Wampoa in 2002. A.S. Watson are also the parent company of Savers, the UK's number three drug store chain. Subsequently, several of Superdrug's smaller stores were converted into Savers, and approximately 200 Savers stores were converted into branches of Superdrug. In 2006, Superdrug entered the Republic of Ireland, and began rolling out its next-generation stores, the first of which opened in Uxbridge. These focused on cosmetics and fragrance above all else, and used plasma screens throughout the store. Superdrug announced their intention to create 150 more next-generation stores in 2008. Equals recent years equals, in February 2010 Superdrug became a BUAV-approved retailer, 
joining several other high street chains in pledging its own brand products will be free from animal testing. All Super Drugon label products carry the Leaping Bunny cruelty free logo. This does not, however, cover products made by other brands sold in store. During 2010s, Super Drug went into partnership with sister company The Perfume Shop by trialing shop in shop concessions. The partnership was trialed in 11 Super Drug stores, including Aylesbury, Milton Keynes, Bury, Glasgow, Westfield, London, and Kensington High Street. Products During 2012, Superdrug went into partnership with Pro Skin Clinics, which has enabled Superdrug to offer specialist skincare clinics in store. Treatments on offer range from laser hair removal to facials. Superdrug planned to have 50 clinics by the end of 2013, starting with High Street Kensington and Oxford Street stores and then concentrating on recently refurbished stores. During 2013, Superdrug ventured into the premium skincare market by launching a new and exclusive brand called B. The brand offers both skincare and makeup and was launched during January and February 2013, accompanied by a multi million pound advertising campaign, including TV advertising, magazine promotion, blogger reviews, and a pop up tour around the UK's largest shopping centres. Marketing equals advertising equals. On October 1, 2010, the Take Another Look campaign was launched by Superdrug to encourage customers to take another look at the company. On February 7, 2013, Superdrug launched a new marketing and advertising campaign, That Superdrug Feeling, featuring actual Superdrug staff from their stores. Equals Dare Magazine equals, Superdrug's Dare Magazine underwent a major makeover, to bring it in line with the company's Take Another Look campaign. The magazine is distributed in store and on the streets of London for free. On February 10, 2011, Superdrug announced that the magazine would be the first UK customer magazine to use digital watermarking technology. Readers will be able to use their smartphone to view interactive video content and access exclusive news and tips by scanning digital watermarks embedded in the magazine. Equals loyalty card equals, on May 11, 2011, Superdrug launched their first reward card called, the Beauty Card. The card was launched as part of the Take Another Look campaign, which has been at the heart of the company's marketing strategy since October 2010. On May 27, 2011, Superdrug announced they had signed up 1 million customers to its loyalty card scheme. Controversies In December 2007, Superdrug was forced to withdraw a women's punch bag following complaints from anti-domestic violence campaigners. The man-shaped product encouraged women to insert a photo of a male in the punch bag's face and had an arrow pointing at the groin stating a euro kick him here. The Mankind Initiative said it was disgraceful that a national retailer like Superdrug should be openly selling products encouraging domestic violence against men. Following the complaints the retailer withdrew the product immediately and promised to donate any profits from sales of the item to domestic violence charity The Mankind Initiative. References External links, official website